All right, YouTube, how are we doing on this Friday evening? Hope you guys are having a great Friday. The weekend is finally here. So let's go ahead and get this going. I don't want to take up a lot of your time. So we're going to do this as quickly as possible today. I received beard mail from Mr. Luxurious. And he told me in advance this was coming. So I knew in advance we're opening it up. Hey, yo, man, first. Devin, one of my one of my mechanics has claimed first. Awesome. Joey, hook him. You were a few seconds late. If you don't know who this is, the luxurious bastard is based out of California. I call Dave the ma one of the masters of making sets. I don't really have to tell you guys any more about that. If you have any of his stuff, you know. So we're going to open this up because I'm getting my weekend started. All right. I'm taking everything out of the bag. Oh, Mandy, come here. Check this out. Nice. That is awesome. Look at that. I received a luxurious bastard smells coaster. Nice. That is really freaking cool. Smells good. I love that. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He also sent me a wooden keychain. Oh, that's awesome looking. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay, package is empty. Let's double check. Packing slip. All right. Here's what we got. Let's take a look. Okay. We're going to go ahead and open everything up. And everyone who is watching, if you haven't already, I'm asking, I'm asking you politely and courteously and please, I'm trying to see one of my good friends hit 1,000 subscribers, and I would love to see that tonight. Tonight, if you can, if you're not subscribed to Beards and Banjo's YouTube channel, go over to his YouTube channel, find him. His name is Brian. Subscribe to that guy. He is an awesome dude. Great bearding content, great quality in general. He's, a, he's one of the guys I go to for beard advice. Go subscribe to Beards and Banjos. I want him to hit 1,000 tonight. We've been on this 1,000 train for over a year now. Okay, so let's get this going. Today I received the Dark Bastard. I received the Leonidas Bastard. And the Holiday Bastard. This is the first time I've actually gotten a hold of the Holiday Bastard. So, I don't know what is in this. I don't, I don't remember the last year's scent profile. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Dark Bastard. And I love how they're wrapped in tin foil. I got the oils and the butters. Thank you. Huge thank you to Mr. Luxurious for sending these to me. Greatly appreciate you. So, let's check this out. Wrapped in tin foil, and it has a little plastic wrapping on top of it as well. So, holiday butter. Saving, saving that one for last, on purpose. Luxurious needs an angry bastard scent. That actually, that's a good idea, Joey. That is a good idea. All right, so we have Dark Bastard Butter. Sorry if it's backwards to you guys. I'm, I'm using my cell phone because I didn't want to go upstairs because as soon as I click out of here, my weekend starts. So, and we are what? And we are opening the Leonidas Bastard. 
What is in Beard today? Right now, I am wearing Fur Tree from Beard Octane. Mandy and I were outside all day raking leaves. I'm going to take a photo tomorrow if I can, if I can get up early enough because they may be starting to get rid of the leaves. But we have this pile that's as big as a car right now out in the farm. Humongous, humongous pile. I didn't think to bring my, my, uh, my phone out earlier because I didn't want to lose it or anything. So I didn't get to take a photo. Hopefully I'll get to you tomorrow. It's insanely big. All right. The Dark Bastard. Let's check this uh, texture of the butter. It's totally fine. Totally fine. Holy crap. Now, I don't know any of the scent profiles of any of these. Oh, we, I, just have, I just have 10 acres and we just have three horses, Jamie Isaac. That's all we have. We just grow our own vegetables, little garden, but uh, we just have three horses for pets. That is spicy powdery. Uh, spicy powdery. I, I, I can't distinguish everything in here, gentlemen, and I I'm apologize because I know you guys... Uh, trust my opinions and stuff. This is a, it's good. It, this is good. So don't be misled. It's spicy and powdery. It's almost like there's a coconut scent underneath of it or something like that. It's good. It's good. All right. Let's go to the old matching oil. Filled right to the freaking top too. Look at that. That's just awesome. Yeah, this is, it's, 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 I guess you could say this is almost a cologne, but it's not a cologne. It's, it's kind of on, on the, on the edge of the fence of being a cologne. It's, it's powdery, spicy. It's good. It's really good. This is a deep scent. It's very layered. I like it. Okay. All right. If I don't like it, I'll tell you. And I will. I, I like that. That's a good one. That's a, that's a, you, that, yes, musky, Russ Young, good, yes. Thank you for educating me. I couldn't think of the word I was looking for. It's kind of musky. It's good. My ear's popping. Give me a second. Whew. You know how your ear pops and then the room spins? That's what's going on right now. Hold on. Give me a minute, guys. Ah. Uh, I got water down in my ear. I just took a shower. I got water in my ear real bad. Oh, okay. It went away. All right. The Leonidas Bastard. I like the helmet on the top. No, no. My ear popped. I'm good. I'm okay. I like the Trojan helmet on the top. Now, this is different. This is completely different than the Dark Bastard. I smell citrus in here of some sort. This has a like an like an undertone similar to the vintage bastard, which is good because I really like the vintage bastard. This has some kind of a ginger, like a like maybe a ginger, a, a little bit of a spice, a citrus. Yeah, code. This is one you'll like. I can tell you that you'd like this one. This is good. This one's a little bit darker as well, a little bit musky, a little, just a little. Not as not as musky as the dark bastard. This one's a little bit more fresher. Yeah, code. This is definitely your. This is one you'll like. All right, let's check the oil, matching oil. Yeah, it's sweet. A little bit of a little bit of musk, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of spice, and it smells a little bit different in the oil, which is fine, which is good. Okay, all right. That's a keeper. I like that. I like that one. Okay. Now, this third one, I, this is the only one of the seasonals I've never gotten. And it's the Holiday Bastard. Now, I'm not complaining, but this one has a little bit of moisture built to it. And that's fine. It doesn't bother me. Not that big of a deal. This one is 
Wow. Wow. Holy crap. This one smells like a Christmas tree, kind of. It smells like something's baking in the kitchen. Smells like you got some kind of a spicy type drink in your hand, whether it's hot or cold, it doesn't matter. Like eggnog or like a, fl a flavored coffee. Maybe even like a Starbucks drink of some sort. One thing I know that's in here, it's got a hint of it, and it says it on the, in the, on the website. There's a hint of weed in this. And I can honestly tell you, if it's in there, I'm not smelling it right off the get-go. That's okay. That's okay. This, is, this one smells a little different than this butter as well. I don't want to put anything on my hands because I have another company on my hands and in my beard, and it's fresh, so I don't want to mix it together and get them all confused. Okay. I like it. This, uh, you know what? It, 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 this could almost, uh, you could almost think to yourself, um, instead of it being something baking in the in the kitchen, it could, you, might, you might even think like chestnuts roasting on an open fire. I'm smelling something like baking, you know, and, that, and that's another way of comparison to it. If, if, I, if, if it sounds right to you. It's good. I like all three of these. I really do. Dave, you knocked these out in the park, man. I'm, I'm really digging them. And if I had to say uh, top one, two, three favorites, I can't really say because they're all three different and they're all three good. These are three completely unique scents, and you, I can say I'm impressed. I'm digging these just for my first impression, Dave. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much for sending me these. I, I appreciate that very, very much. This, though, I, and I know it, it's a nice gesture. That just looks freaking awesome. That's going to look really awesome right beside my chair. I, I really, really enjoy that. That's... That's classy. That is classy. That's really cool. So there you have it, guys. The Dark Bastard. One more time. A spicy, peppery, dark, musky. A different take on maybe, maybe a wicked different take on a barber shop. Maybe. Because you might be thinking that when you smell the powdery and the spices. It's good. It's really good. Holiday. I'm smelling a Christmas tree. I'm smelling some kind of a drink, like a like a warm, wintry call, a drink in your hand. Something baking or something roasting on fire. It's good. I like that one. And Leonidas. Citrusy. Citrusy for sure. Gingery. A little, little bit of musk. And a fresh and clean. This is a good one. All three of them. Yeah. Yeah. They have my approval. From first impression, I'm digging them already. I'm going to end on that note, gentlemen. Thank you all for watching. I uh, just want to do this real quick. Uh, thank you all for your constant and continued support. Thank you to Mr. Luxurious for sending these out to me. I greatly appreciate these. Uh, if you, if you want to make a purchase from the Luxurious Bastard, always remember... You must be subscribed to his email list, and every Friday or Saturday, he tells you what he's releasing on Sunday afternoons at 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and his stuff goes really, really quickly, and if you ever want to use my discount code, it's BTS10. It'll save you 10% off. Every little bit helps, you guys, so... Everyone keep on bearding and enjoy your weekend. I'll see you soon.